Hello viewer, welcome to the YouTube channel for the Yunus. Today I will discuss the topic, the evolution of leaves, a journey through time. Introduction to the evolution of leaves. Leaves involve from small, simple structures into larger, complex ones. These strategies include microphiles, megaphiles, and the diverse leaves we see today. Non-vascular plants and their basic structure. Non-vascular plants like mosses have a simple structure and reproduce through spores. Their life cycle involves alternation of generations. The evolution of vascular plants and the emergence of leaves. Leaves involve from small, simple structures to large, complex ones. These stages include microphils, megaphils, and the emergence of true leaves. The different types of leaves and their adaptations. Leaves have evolved to adapt to different environments. Some of the most common types of leaves are needle, scale, succulent, deciduous, and evergreen. The steps of leaf evolution. The first step was the development of photosynthetic pigments. The second step involved the evolution of a flattened shape. The final step was the development of specialized tissues for conducting water and nutrients. The evolution of leaves a journey through time. The evolution of leaf a journey through time is a fascinating topic that takes us through the history of plant evolution and the development of leaves. Leaves are essential structures for most land plants as they play a critical role in photosynthesis, gas exchange, and transpiration. Here's a brief overview of the evolution of leaves. Early plant evolution. The earliest land plants such as mosses and liverwurst lay through leaves. They had simple structures often referred to as microphiles or inhalation, which were small one cell layer thick throughout growth from the stem. Evolution of microphiles to megaphiles. As plants involved, they develop more complex leaves called megaphiles. These leaves are characterized by a network of veins and multiple layers of cells. The exact process by which microphiles involved into megaphiles is a topic of ongoing research and debate among scientists. Fossil evidence. Fossil record indicate that plants with megaphiles life ones appeared during the Darwinian period. Approximately 360 million years ago, these leaves were more developed and efficient for photosynthesis. Diversity of leaf forms. The evolution of leaf lead to a wide diversity of leaf shape and sizes across plant species. Some leaves are adapted to specific fun functions such as water storage, protection or climbing. Adaptive radiation. Over time, leaves have adapted to various environmental conditions resulting in a wide range of leaf types. For example, succulent plants have adapted leaves for water storage, while certain Carnivorous plants have modified leaves for capturing insects. Coevolution with animals. Leaves have to co evolve with herbivores, leading to the development of various defense mechanisms such as thorns, spines, and chemical toxins to deter herbivory. Modern leaves. Today, leaves come in a variety of species shapes and sizes each situated to the specific needs to the plant broad leaves the common in trees and shrubs while narrow leaves are found in grasses some plants like cacti 
have modified their leaves into spines to reduce water loss. Biological significance Leaves are vital to the success of land plants as they are responsible for the majority of photosynthesis on Earth. Converting carbon dioxide and sunlight into energy. Understanding the evolution of leaves is not only a journey through the history of life on Earth, but also a testament to the incredible diversity and adaptability of plant life. It showcases how natural selection has shaped leaves to fulfill different ecological needs and environmental changes over millions of years. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the fascinating evolution of leaves. We appreciate your support for Father Yunus channel. Please consider sharing, liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching my video and share.